The episode begins with Isaac lying injured on the ground and a girl comes in to revive him with an electric shock, she helps him up, and they escape together on a motorcycle, she tells him to brace himself as they need to flee, after they put some distance between themselves, Isaac hears the sound of the Transformers who abducted him, and they chase after them, the girl tries to evade them. But they pursue very quickly and eventually, she falls off the motorcycle, Isaac sees the Transformers as they merge into one giant body, the girl shocks them with a high voltage causing them to separate, and they revert to their original forms meanwhile, Scott is getting a tattoo with styles, but when they get into the car, Scott feels a sharp pain in his shoulder, to his surprise, the wound from the tattoo hasn't healed Lydia and Allison are in the car. Heading to a party after Allison's return from France, Allison asks Lydia about Jackson, wondering if she still sees him, Lydia explains that after Derek taught him how to control himself, he went to London Styles, asks Scott about Allison, and Scott replies that they agreed not to talk during the summer. He hasn't seen her since she went to France and doesn't expect to see her again however, Styles spots Lydia and Allison waiting at a traffic light and he tells Scott that he'll see her now, Scott and Allison meet and Scott tells Styles to drive fast, Allison also asks Lydia to walk, and she gets out of the car in front of them, Scott tells Styles not to follow them, so it doesn't look like they're tailing them. So Styles stops the car at the same time, Allison tells Lydia that she wants to talk to Scott, Lydia stops in front of them, and suddenly a deer crashes through the windshield the girls scream, and they all get out of the car, while Scott and Styles rush to check on them, Lydia says the deer's eyes look crazy, but Scott reassures them that it was just scared meanwhile, Isaac and the girl arrive at the hospital and Scott's mom recognizes Isaac. She rushes to check on him before anyone else does. But he tells her to go to the other girl first. Since her condition is worse than his indeed, she goes to the girl and tells her to contact the Alpha. Melissa asks if she means Derek, but the girl says no, it's Scott the next day. We see Chris talking to Allison before school, suggesting she can take the day off if she wants, however Allison insists she's fine and needs to go to school. Although she has to reach Lydia because her car broke down yesterday Styles is at the computer, trying to find out why the deer attacked when his dad interrupts him to remind him to go to school at school, Lydia and Allison meet twin new students and introduce themselves Melissa tells Isaac that she tried to call Derek but couldn't reach him, so he tells her to call Scott instead, she tells him they found out about his condition and performed surgery, but his body is still unstable and they need to find a solution quickly before the doctor sees him Melissa leaves and the officer Noah asks to interrogate the girl who came with Isaac, who looks anxious and keeps checking the time as if waiting for something, Melissa tells him that the girl's condition is severe and he can't interrogate her right now meanwhile Allison sits in front of Scott in class and the teacher comes in and tells them to turn off their phones, here Melissa tries to call Scott but his phone is obviously off a nurse enters to anesthetize Isaac. Isaac, but he sees her legs after being anesthetized and realizes she's one of the Transformers at the same time. The school calls for Scott because his mom contacted the school administration and wants him to go to the hospital immediately in class, Styles notices that Lydia has a bite on her hand and asks her about it, she says her dog bit her and Styles asks if this has happened before or if it's the first time, although Lydia doesn't care much about what he's saying. Styles tells her that this could be like what happened with the deer, something that animals feel before anyone else. He asks if she means earthquakes and volcanoes at that moment a large number of crows attack them, breaking the windows and entering the classroom Scott goes to the hospital to see Isaac and at that time, the girl who saved him can escape from the hospital Scott gets on the elevator and there's a blind person with him who asks him to help him afterward to disable it we see Isaac in surgery, but when the doctor examines the wound he finds nothing. Assuming they brought in the wrong person and tells them to take him out and see where the patient is Scott looks for Isaac and sees someone dressed as a nurse getting on the elevator, so Scott runs after them and manages to get in with them before the elevator closes they struggle, and Derek arrives and manages to overpower the shifter and take Isaac from him Chris comes to the school looking for Allison after the crow incident and officer Noah sees him and asks him if he knows why this happened Chris asks why he's the one being questioned and officer Noah says because he heard he's an exceptional hunter, but Chris replies that he's done with hunting Derek enters carrying Isaac and Scott is with them at Derek's old house, Scott talks to Stiles about what happened at school and Stiles tells him to come to Derek's house, quickly Scott asks what's happening with the animals and Derek explains that there's a rival pack of wolves in the area, making the animals go crazy with their presence and sense of danger the girl who saved Isaac goes to the school looking for Scott, sees Allison and asks her about him, 
But Allison says she doesn't know anything about him, the girl asks what she wants from him. So she goes to grab the girl's arm firmly Lydia tells her to let go, but she also grabs her arm firmly. She sees the twins who entered the school newly and lets them go Officer Noah goes to the veterinarian's clinic and tells him that the animals are behaving crazily lately with reports of different cases coming in frequently. He says he's there to get his opinion as a veterinarian. But he's surprised when the vet tells him that he himself contacted him and showed him that all his animals are dead in their cages. Initially, he thought someone killed them. But later discovered they killed themselves Derek sees Scott's shoulder and the tattoo he wanted to get has disappeared. He asks Scott to help him and get the tattoo, Derek tells him the pain will be severe. But Scott insists on getting the tattoo Derek takes out a fire device to draw the tattoo on Scott's shoulder and asks Styles to hold him because the pain will be intense indeed, Scott is in pain and Styles holds him tightly and he faints from the pain. But when he wakes up, he finds the tattoo there at the same time. The girl is still in school trying to escape from the twins, chasing her Scott goes out with Styles from Derek's house, but notices that the door is freshly painted from the outside only, Scott asks him why he painted the door, and why only from one side, but Derek tries to let him go, but Scott extends his claws and removes the paint from the door. Seeing the mark drawn on the door a while ago at the same time, the shifters enter after the girl, and they fight her Derek tells Scott that a number of shifters have been around for a while and asks Scott how many, Scott says a whole alpha pack Scott asks if he knows any information about them, and Derek says he knows that Boyd and Erica are with them and that their leader is named Dukalian and that he's blind Isaac wakes up and asks them where the girl who was with him in the hospital is and they ask him which girl at that time, the girl falls on the ground and the leader of the shifters enters and tells her she's very brave, she says because I know something no one else knows and it's that you're afraid of Scott, he says he's afraid of a little teenager she tells him no, you're afraid of what he will become when he grows up, he asks her what she means, and she says there's someone who told him before that there's something he must do, and that there's a danger that makes someone else do it for him, and here she understands that he means Derek, but Deucalion kills her in the end, we see Lydia and Allison standing in Allison's room, and choosing together the new paint color that Allison will choose suddenly, they find the bruise that came to their hands, both in the place where the girl held them firmly and made a mark almost identical and when they put their hands together, it looks like a complete drawing of each other. And its shape is very strange the episode begins with Allison and Lydia in the car, with Lydia drawing with a pen on the sketch that appeared on her hands and Allison's, Lydia asks her if she's sure it's a drawing of something specific and if Scott will know what it is, Allison assures her that she is sure because the girl who was looking for Scott had a strange look. And it was obvious that she really needed it. Meanwhile, Scott and Styles are going to a birthday party, and Styles tells Scott that they need to meet new girls and can't just be stuck with Lydia and Allison forever. Allison tries to get Scott's attention, but he doesn't respond and goes into the party with Styles. Styles is surprised when he enters the party, and Heather, the birthday girl, greets him warmly and takes him with her. Leaving Scott alone, Allison calls Scott again and he goes to meet her finding her with Lydia, he asks Allison why she brought Lydia with her, if she didn't want to talk to him, but Allison tells him she didn't come to talk about personal matters and shows him the shape on her hand meanwhile, Heather is waiting underground for Styles to come down, but suddenly all the windows shake, she falls, everything around her breaks, and she ends up against the wall, suddenly the window above her opens and she is kidnapped, Styles goes down, but doesn't find Heather and calls out to her, but unfortunately, there is no response at the same time, Isaac is with Derek, discussing how to handle the alpha issue that kidnapped him, Derek tells him that Peter will help them and try to reach his memories, but Isaac says he's afraid of Peter and doesn't like him, here Peter enters and tells them that his supernatural hearing heard everything they said about him, Isaac sits in front of Peter, who tries to enter his memory to get any information about their whereabouts, he sees Boyd and Erica and tells them that they will be dead on the next moon, but doesn't know where or why they told them that Scott asks Derek to meet them, and indeed Derek goes and sees the mark on Allison and Lydia's hand then Scott goes to school and enters the economics class, where the coach asks a question and Scott knows the answer. The coach is surprised and tells Scott to stay like this forever officer Noah arrives at the school and asks Styles about his son. 
Heather, but Styles tells him he doesn't know where she is and that she left him, however, his dad tells him that she hasn't returned and that he was the last one to see her Allison sits in the library with Lydia drawing the shape that appeared on her hand and notices the logo on the coffee cup, she asks Lydia if it could be a logo for something important and indeed, she goes online and searches for logos of all the stores and brands at the same time, Scott and Styles leave the class, and Styles tells Scott that he suspects the alpha werewolves kidnapped Heather to turn her too, he says they need to find Heather, as she is the daughter of his mother's friend, and he's known her since he was three, and needs to help her they consider seeking help from the veterinarian, because Isaac cannot remember anything after Peter's failed attempt, and indeed, they go to him, and he suggests Isaac sit in a tub of ice until his mind clears completely, and maybe then he'll remember Isaac sits in the ice, held by Derek and Scott, and suddenly he remembers everything, and then Drive, Deaton speaks to him Isaac, says he doesn't want to remember anything, but Drive, Deaton tells him to remember anything from the house he was trapped in, but Isaac tells him it's not a house he says he heard them, and that they're worried about what they'll do to each other when the moon is full drive, Deaton tells him to look for any sign in the place, so Isaac says they're here, and he saw them and asks Derek where he is, Derek says he's in a bank vault Isaac wakes up, and tells them they have to go to that bank to free Erica and Boyd but Styles tells him, don't you remember what you said a while ago before you woke up? Isaac says he doesn't remember, so Styles tells him he said they locked him in a room with a dead body, Isaac asks, whose body? And Styles answers, Erica Derek decides to go save Boyd and Erica, and they try to convince him that Erica is dead, but he tells them Isaac said there's a girl trapped with Boyd who might not be dead, but they need to go in with caution drive. Deaton tells him to think about how he'll enter, so Derek asks, if Isaac knew how to get into the bank without them noticing, then I can do it too he then asks, do you want to go in without anyone noticing, Derek asks them, so Derek says, you mean you want to plan a bank heist, and Styles asks how long this plan will take, Styles answers him that the bank was robbed three months ago, so there must be a plan to rob it, and Derek asks when they will find it, Styles answers him that it only takes a few minutes, we're in the internet age but Styles tries for a long time and can't find anything and falls asleep while searching, and the printer continues to print out the news of the bank robbery while they're asleep, officer Noah comes in to wake them up for school, but Styles sees in the printed pictures that his dad was the one who caught the thief and, of course, he thinks that maybe he'll find the robbery plan with his dad then we see Allison after she tells Lydia that the logo they found is a bank logo and that she has to make sure herself that this logo means something important, she tells her that she won't be able to reach her after school, because she has an important errand to run Scott and Styles arrive at school, and Scott tells Styles that they'll meet at Derek's house after school, and of course, the raid will take place at night after that, we see Allison raiding the bank at the same time, Styles explains to Derek and Scott, how the gang that robbed the bank entered and tells them that the only way to the bank wall must have been with a drill. But Derek says he can guide her with his hand and that's why he should go first after Allison enters the bank she is surprised to find Drive Morel, the school counselor, inside the bank and she grabs her and tells her she must leave immediately she tells her that she doesn't know where she's sneaking but she should hurry up and hide before they see her at that moment. The group of werewolves enters and Allison hides in a room and takes out her mobile phone and sees a body in Erica SI. We see Styles expressing his confusion about why they're doing this and how they kidnapped Boyd and Erica four months ago and kept them locked up, he wonders why they waited for the moon to complete its cycle four times, and why they locked Boyd in a safe and who the girl trapped with him is at that moment, Derek and Scott arrive at the bank, and Scott asks Derek why they waited so long if they marked his house four months ago Peter asks Stiles about the type of wood in the safe and Stiles tells him it's hickory, and here Peter understands what's happening, They've trapped them like Roman gladiators, and he tells Styles to quickly call Derek and Scott and tell them that Boyd and the girl in the safe are going to kill each other. And if Derek and Scott enter, they'll kill them too in that moment, Derek breaks the wall and enters the safe to look for Boyd. Styles calls Scott and tells him that the wood around them in the safe is hickory, which prevents them from transforming and they haven't transformed in three months, so their ferocity will increase significantly when they see the full moon Derek finds the girl and it turns out to be his little sister Cora, who tells him to leave quickly suddenly, the door opens and they see Marin, the Alpha, adding mountain ash to the ground to prevent them from leaving the place, all this while Allison hears what's happening and watches, and they start fighting, Scott asks Derek about the girl, and he tells him she's his little sister, 
I thought she died in the fire they start fighting after Boyd and Cora transform, but Scott and Derek try to stop them, but Boyd becomes very ferocious and Allison feels they won't be able to handle him Allison goes down to the ground to open the circle, but Derek sees her and tries to stop her, but Allison opens the ash circle and Boyd runs out into the forest Derek asks her, what have you done? So Allison tells him she saved him, and by the way, it's not me who's turning them, I think it's you who turned him, but Derek tells her, but the rest of your family does that, so she tells him, Gerard is not my fault, so he tells her, and your mother, and he talks to Scott and tells him not to say what her mother did in the end, we see Lydia waking up suddenly and screaming, 